Hello, this is Michael Steinman and Jazz Lives once again. We're back, as they say in public radio, with my dear friend Katie Powell. And she's been telling us stories that her father, my hero, the pianist and composer Mel Powell, would tell her. So we're getting them as close as we possibly can. And she has a story here that I've never heard before. So uh, we'll give you a four bar intro and you go straight for it. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Um, this story has to do with uh, the decision that my parents made to get married back in 1946. Um, at that time, my father was 23 years old and my mother was 11 years his senior. And uh, she, of course, was a, a Protestant and he was from a very strictly Orthodox background. Um, where his mother uh, would light candles and they were very strict and kept a kosher house and his, uh, his, his grandfather was actually the head of household and he was very, very austere, very Talmudic scholar, you know. Well, at any rate, so my dad, between his two parents, because his father, of course, was, had assimilated into capitalism and USA and he was just this guy who was running around the south playing bridge and cards and whining and dining showgirls. I mean he was a whole different character than than my dad's mother. So my dad was kind of scared about telling uh, his mom, Molly. Tell us something about yes. the woman who your father was going to marry because I'm not sure oh. all my listeners and readers know her that well as okay. they should. All right, well, um, Tony Martin, who was married to Sid Charisse, I believe. Is that right, Michael? Yes. Yeah. Well, he and my dad were very good friends, and one time they went out and saw a movie called High Diddle Diddle, um, and there's this beautiful actress in it named Martha Scott, and my dad turned to Tony Martin and he said, Tony, that's the woman I'm going to marry, just so we're clear. And... Uh, and that's pretty much what happened a few years later. Um, and as I probably have mentioned before, there was a lot of strict orthodox uh, in my, my father's upbring upbringing as a Jewish man. And in my mother's case, she was a Protestant from the upper Midwest, so, you know, from the Middle West anyway. So the big problem was, for my father, was how to break the news to his mother that he had fallen madly in love and with and was going to marry a shiksa. And so he he called his mother up and he told her he broke the news and of course she was absolutely threatening suicide immediately. It was that's it, you know, it's the old joke of well you won't have to worry about an apartment because I'm not going to be here anymore and throwing myself out the window kind of uh, reaction. And actually my father was kind of concerned. I mean, my 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 grandmother, his mother, was, was very emotional and dramatic, and, and yet he was really actually a little worried. So he somehow tracked down his dad, who was gallivanting about, and, and he happened to catch him at a Tulsa Bridge Club. And, um, and he got him to the phone, and he said, Hey, Pop, uh, listen, I'm, I'm getting married. And uh, his father said, Yeah, great, good, I love it. Uh, who are you marrying? And, and my dad said, well, the thing is, it's, it's Martha Scott, uh, you know, the movie actress. And Gus, my father's father, said, oh, nice lady, good for you, congratulations. And my father said, well, Pop, uh, I'm a little concerned because I just spoke with Ma, and she's threatening to jump out the window. She's, she's suicidal about this. And, uh, and so Gus, Dad's dad, said, for this, you interrupt a bridge game? And he said, I wouldn't worry about it, Melvin. He said, when it comes to your mother, she looks four ways before crossing a one-way street. And that was one of my favorite lines <laughs> from, from my dad's storytelling. And of course, they married, and it was quite lovely, and my mom and his mom were very, very close. <laughs> Nice to have stories with happy endings. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Michael.